Guys, I was reflecting on my life last week. I think when I was coming from... No, when I was in Dubai and when I was coming, I was really reflecting on these words. Allah does not make mistakes. And this conversation was brought about by my cousin. We were talking about life and, you know, like everything that has happened in life and how we were looking back at our lives and realizing that everything that happened, Allah was not making any mistakes. Like sometimes as a human being, you always ask yourself, oh why me like back then when i didn't have school fees to pay my fees i was like yeah allah why me the other kids are going to school they have shopping i don't have shopping why me then but now every time i sit wallahi i recognize like everything that happened was not a mistake allah did not make any mistake like sometimes people tell you oh you went through you know like a very difficult life and to me I am contented, I am happy, I'm like, now, see, now is, is where the reflection is coming, I, I am remembering more like the good things that Allah did for me than compared to the bad things that happened in my life, which now I actually don't call them bad things because they were good for me at that time, they were lessons, aside from the things that I did out of my own, you know, like shaitan overcoming me, but everything else that happened, it happened because Allah did not make mistakes. Like I look at, I look back at my life, you know, like the fact that I don't have kids, I am 38 years old, you know, I don't have a husband. And when I look back at the times I have been with people who I think would have been, you know, like the right partner. No, like now looking at it back, I'm like, clearly Allah did not make a mistake because Allah knew me and he knew those people that he put into my life. Whatever I was to learn from them, I was to learn from them, but they were never meant to be with me, like to live with me or to be my partners. So I look back, I'm like, there is is absolutely no mistake in my life. And you know, I'm a human being. I know some people say, oh, like, why are you documenting this? Why are you saying this? It's because I'm a human being. I have emotions. I have to express myself and remember guys when I was starting this video I said I'm gonna document my life and I feel like at this point I'm also gonna document my thoughts you know Risa Tisa the way he, she was doing like audio diaries I need to do that too for myself <laughs> because it's very important sometimes I remember things then I forget them and these are very important reflections like what I'm actually sharing right now so I'm sharing it first for myself and I really want to come and look back at this video again to reiterate that actually Allah does not make mistakes because I'm still living my life. I'm still going to make mistakes. Things are going to still happen in my life. And everything that happens, I want to be conscious of Allah, like put Allah first, but at the same time, to remind myself that I'm a human being and I will be tested in all ways. And everyone is given a portion of of their test that they can handle. And Allah, of course, from the Quran we know Allah does not burden us with something that we cannot overcome so everything that happened in our lives in my life in particular was not a mistake because Allah knew you know he knew that I could overcome all those things Allah did not make a mistake for me to get married late or like for me not to be married up to this moment Allah did not make a mistake for taking away my parents my especially my mother and going growing up without a mother he did not make a mistake because he knew Fatima could walk through life without her mom because i always used to tell myself like this i look at other people not comparing but i i question it i'm like look at this girl the way she loves her mom if allah took her mom at a young age she would be devastated and i would feel so bad for her because I, I, I could not even imagine what kind of trauma she will go through losing her mom why because i allah knows she has to stay with her mom until maybe a certain age, whoever dies first, the daughter or the mom. But Allah knows this daughter, she loves her mom so much and she will not be able to bear the pain of losing her mom, you know. So Allah does not make a mistake. He knew that I could go through everything that I went through without my mom. So he gladly took my mom because Qadar Allah wa masha'a fa'ala. Allah does whatever he wants and he does not make a mistake. My life the way I grew up, like I was saying a few minutes ago, the fact that I could not be able to raise money, say, to go to school. Allah did not make a mistake. He could have given me the money to go to school, but he did not make a mistake. 
Allah, me being diagnosed with early stage breast cancer was not a mistake. Allah knew I could go through all those things, all through those, you know, uh, medication, all through that, you know, phase of being told you have breast cancer and going through the emotional phase of it all and even the physical uh, phase and everything that was involved at that time. And Allah did not make a mistake and Allah showed me earlier than, you know, uh, and there was a reason for that too. Allah, I'm still yet to know why Allah showed me the signs of me going to find out about my breast cancer. Because there are people who are diagnosed at stage four and the people who are diagnosed at stage two, the people who are diagnosed at, you know, they're told you have like a few weeks to go, but that is all in Allah's uh, plan. Allah does not make a mistake, even if um, I was told at that time I, I, I had like stage uh, four uh, breast cancer when I would become in that, like, you have the the breast cancer you're told okay there's nothing we can do but the people who have lived even after they were told you, you cannot uh, leave after say I mean you have only a few months to leave and people have lived for seven years ten years I've had stories people have told me like I have clients who I share you know um, because I normally ask them to buy me this uh, from other countries the things that I need for like the sour soap tea and stuff like that and they share some of them share like amazing stories about their parents or about their families who have gone through the same thing and for me you see Allah is guiding me Allah is is making me bring these people into my life I started a YouTube channel in 2020 and it was not successful Allah did not make a mistake why because how many people have I got to know through this failed YouTube channel? A lot. There was a day I posted um, a Quran, a mashaf. This mashaf, I have it somewhere here. I posted a mashaf saying, if anyone knows where I can get this mashaf, guys, I'm not fasting. <laughs> I posted a video where I was saying, if if you if you know where I can find this mashaf, please let me know. And one of my clients from UK, who I helped shop here in turkey sent me the masaf all the way from uk to to istanbul if i did not start that failed channel how would i have met this client who bought me a masaf that i will read that he will gain the ajr for it he will gain the, the the blessings for it how allah does not make a mistake i feel like i really want to you know like I reflect at e like every point in my life I, as, as i'm as i'm getting older i need to i need to Look at everything from, you know, like a different perspective. Because it's amazing uh, how your brain will, you know, analyze the situation in a different way that maybe you will have analyzed when you were younger. This is, guys, this is the mashaf I was telling you about. It's a, it's a very beautiful mashaf. And this client actually saw me post it and he was like, I will buy you and bring you to Istanbul. And he gave to his, I think his niece or his nephew. So I went to pick it. It's a very beautiful mashab and I enjoy reading this mashab and I make an effort to read it almost every day so that he can get, you know, the, the blessing. So if I didn't start this YouTube channel that failed for three years, I wouldn't have met this guy who bought me this mashab. So I really want to um, remind myself every time that Allah does not make a mistake. I should be careful with how I live my life, of course, like I don't, I, I, I cannot live my life recklessly. I should live my life conscious of Allah but things are bound to happen in your life either ways so I I need to remind myself that everything that happens in my life or everything that happened in my life for example I was even reflecting on when I was working in Mogadishu I was like Allah did not make a mistake for me you know there's we don't have uh, as human beings we don't have the willpower we don't people are out here saying oh including myself like, oh I'm gonna do this I'm gonna it is, it is only going to happen if Allah wills it. So we should always say, inshallah. And sometimes things happen so fast in your life. And it's because Allah meant it to happen in that way. Like the time I was going to work in Mogadishu, it was very quick. I didn't know what to expect. But I went and worked there and I met amazing people. I worked with so many uh, good people. We're still friends up to date. And they've been there for me, you know, through difficult times and through good times so that was not a mistake but when i was quitting my job i was depressed i was like yeah i hate this job with all my heart and soul i really do like i really don't need this job anymore i hate it i hate it i hate it and i was put there at that particular moment at that particular juncture in my life for a reason 
for a, for a reason. Allah did not make a mistake for me to go to go and work in Mogadishu. So I always want to remind myself, what is the lesson? What did I learn from this? What am I getting from this? What are the signs I'm getting from this? You know. So I just wanted to share these uh, thoughts um, because I want to remind myself. I want to one day look back at this video and keep you know um, farm is it a farming or farming that Allah does not make a mistake. Allah bringing people into my life all kinds of people to deal with the fact that i didn't grow up with a mom all these people are in your life you know you do, because you live with other people allah bringing all these people in my life was not a mistake you know me living there's a point i, will, I was living uh, by myself for, for more like uh, almost six years i was living alone it was not a mistake i was i learned so much about myself and i learned so much about other people and i learned you know to find um there's this word I like to say, to find security in my own solitude. Like, I'm okay being alone. Yes, I, I, I love people around me. I love friends. I love family. But I can also be alone. Because during that time, it taught me to face myself when I'm alone in my room. You know, people say, there's this uh, phrase I used to uh, listen to this podcast. Uh, there's this guy who always asks this question to his guests. Who are you when nobody's watching? But me, Allah is watching. So um, I have to be conscious of the fact that Allah is watching me. I cannot do, you know, like things that, uh, you know, will make me disobey Allah. But sometimes you're a human being, you make mistakes and all that. But the point of this video is, honestly, I think my thoughts are like are all over the place. But the thought, I mean, the point of this video is just to remind myself first that Allah does not make a mistake about anything that happens in my life. And also to inspire you to think the same way that everything that happens in your life was not a mistake and i was reading uh, some few comments from you guys amazing comments like people saying i got married at 42 i had a child at 43 look back at your life now and you're like it was not a mistake all those years i was single it was not a mistake allah meant you to get married at 42 and i have a cousin of mine also who got married but she never gave birth so she gave birth at 42 her first child at four, at 42 her second at 43 i think her, her third at 44 so like always i read your your messages and their messages most of your messages are actually messages of hope and you you guys are always making dua and you know sending messages of hope and although to be honest i feel like this is uh, like this youtube like the amount of positive feedback i got from you sometimes i just sit and read my comments i feel overwhelmed even to respond to the comments but alhamdulillah for you guys for this community and i'm sorry that, uh, if my thoughts were all over the place uh, but I really wanted to make this video and maybe even I'll, I, if 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 I organize my thoughts better I will even make this video again because again I told you guys I'm gonna document my life whether it be my thoughts or my you know day-to-day -day life or like when I'm outside when I'm traveling because I want to look back one day and say girl <laughs> girl <laughs> that's you you know so alhamdulillah for everything i really hope you guys uh your ramadan is going well i've not been fasting the last couple of days but inshallah i'll go back to fasting and i'm glad that i'm gonna get the last 10 days of ramadan that i'll be fasting alhamdulillah and i'm gonna make the most out of it inshallah i'm gonna try my best my best test to make the most out of it and i'll keep you guys in my dua and inshallah also keep me uh, in your duas i really <laughs> You know, the best thing about uh, this life is making dua for people. So I really, really hope you guys are making genuine duas for me. I will make duas for you. And I think that's the best thing you can give to someone. Make dua for them. That's the best gift. I like to make dua for people. People that I've even met 20 years ago. I still make dua for them. So thank you so much uh, for listening to my, to my thoughts. And I really hope this video inspires you in any way. Even if... It, we are not even if we did not leave the same experiences you will take from your experiences to understand that allah truly does not make a mistake thank you so much guys for watching and i'll see you in the next video inshallah